In this example, we want to determine the convergence or divergence of the series using the ratio series test. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the limit of the ratio of the nth plus one term over the nth term. Okay, and then from there, if we if we get something that's less than one, uh, that means the series will converge. If it's strictly greater than one, that means the series will diverge. Or if we get something that's exactly equal to one, then this uh, series test, this racial series test is inconclusive, okay? So if you get something that's inconclusive, then you ha we have to use another test, okay, another series test. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and take the, or set up the limit, okay? So the nth term for the series is basically two to the n over n factorial. And the nth plus one term Okay, so basically we're just substituting in n plus one. So we're gonna get two to the n plus one divided by n plus one factorial. So by the way, uh, this, whenever, if we have factorial in the series, the ratio series test is a, is a good test to use. Okay, so if you see something with factorial in the series, then that's a good indication to use the ratio series test. That would be the first test I would use, okay. So let's go ahead and take the limit. So we want to take the limit of the nth plus one term over the nth term. Okay. All right. And so this is going to give us Okay, so we're going to have two to the n plus one divided by n plus one factorial. And since we're dividing by the nth term, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just take the reciprocal of this, of, okay, of the nth term. So that's gonna give us n factorial over two to the n, okay? So then from here, okay, um, since we don't have any, uh, we don't have um, negative values involved, so we can just drop the absolute value, okay? So now let's, what I'm going to do is I'm going to group the exponential functions together and then the factorials together. So we're going to have two to the n plus one over two to the n times n factorial over n plus one factorial. Okay. Okay, so so then from here, we're going to use, uh, use some algebra to simplify this, okay? So remember that if you have, let's say, b to, let's say, m to the power m plus n, this is the same as b to the m times b to the n. So we can use that property here. Okay, so this is 2 to the n plus 1 becomes 2 times I'm sorry, two to the n times two divided by two to the n. Okay, and then for the factorial property, okay, let's look at that, okay. So if we expand, okay, n factorial, okay, by definition, it's gonna be n times the next term minus one, then n minus two, and then all the way down to three, then two, then one, okay. And we're going to divide those by n plus one factorial. So that's going to start with n plus one. Okay, and then we have n, and then n minus one, and then all the way down to three, two, and one. Okay, so basically, the n, right, will cancel out n minus one, will cancel out n minus two, will cancel out somewhere here, and these will cancel out. Okay, so that's gonna leave us with one over n plus one, okay? So that means for this part, okay, this is gonna give us one over n plus one, okay? And then two to the n cancels out, okay? So we're left with the limit as n goes to infinity of two over 
n plus 1. Okay, so as n increases, this overall expression is going to go to, it's going to approach 0. So therefore, we know, right, um, this is less than 1. Therefore, this series will converge. Okay. And not only converge, it converges absolutely. Uh, because we're taking the absolute, because this is for the, we're taking the absolute value of this, okay? Okay, so anytime you're using a ratio test, and if it converges, it's converging absolutely, okay? Okay, so that is our solution.